Hi, this is Greg Rogers. I am a programmer, a uh, senior uh, member of the technical staff at, uh, at AMD. Uh, welcome to the AMD booth at Supercomputing 16. Uh, today at Supercomputing, uh, at this whole entire week at Supercomputing, we are uh, announcing the Rockham 1.3 platform, uh, and I'm going to talk to you about the Rockham platform. Rockham stands for the Radeon Open Compute Platform. Um, it, Radeon as a technology, uh, embraces all of the uh, graphic processing, and much of that is uh, game, co game processors and visualization. But Rockham specifically deals with computing. Okay? So it, and, and the compute platform from Radeon is entirely open. It, or the, it's open source from, the, uh, uh, from, from all levels of the software, all the way down to the kernel itself. So of course it runs in the Linux environment. Uh, it's also open in terms of the, the uh, specifications, our um, instruction set architecture is entirely open and you can see the generation of that instruction set architecture in the compiler itself we call it the lightning compiler which is really the back end of the uh, of the LLVM um, in, uh, compiler suite the Radeon technology um, applies to both what we call APUs accelerated processing units and discrete uh, graphics or discrete processing units a discrete unit is something that fits in it that sits on a on an accelerator card and goes into a number of different machines an APU uses the same graphic cores integrated with the CPUs. So the, rate, the rate, Rockham software works for both of those, including our Carrizo APU, as well as our Fiji and, other, and, and several other um, discrete GPUs. Radeon o Open Compute actually started with HSA. And, uh, and as HSA evolved uh, from many different companies, it's a, it's a standard for heterogeneous system architecture. Uh, we realized that we wanted to add more to Radeon and actually add more, uh, um, not just more to the standard, but more to the software stack and the capabilities. So Rockham was announced as our uh, platform for, the, for HSA. And uh, so, so many of the, 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 the base components of HSA you'll see in Rockham, like shared virtual memory. Whether it's on an APU or a discrete GPU, we still have the concept of the shared virtual memory, and we also have the, the concept of the advanced tasking that you see in HSA. And this leads to this you know, standardized software environment uh, for, for HSA. Now, on top of the, the base software, the HSA software for executing the, the, the code, you have the compiler technology for creating applications. There are a number, since we're based on standardized LLVM platform, there's a number of compiler and front-end technologies that we can take advantage of. Uh, the first is, uh, is, this, is the C++, and what we've done with C++ is we've, we've added constructs um, that allow us to do heterogeneous processing in C++, but we've also used, worked with the C++ community to bring those uh, capabilities to C++. And as the we're very standards driven, and as the standard changes, we will change, and we will work with the C++ community to help um, to help with those standards. Um, we also have uh, we also are cognizant of the fact that much software exists for heterogeneous computing from the um, in the CUDA environment, but CUDA is really kind of a first generation of 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 uh, of heterogeneous processing. And so what we've done is we've built this, this, this notion of HIP where we are allowed uh, the same source code to actually be compiled through the CUDA path using the CUDA compilers from NVIDIA and also the same source could be also compiled through an AMD path using um, our, our HCC software. So uh, one source can be used for both platforms. And um, this, is what H, uh, which this, is, this is what HIP is. We also support a traditional OpenCL uh, for the Rockham platform. In the past, we've had strong support for OpenCL in our non-HSA platform, but this, at this show with Rockham 1.3, we're introducing OpenCL uh, for the um, uh, Rockham platform. And of course, that sits on top of the, eight, the Rockham runtime, and, and that's what's different than, than earlier versions of OpenCL from AMD. Uh, the, uh, the other thing that's, that's new about Rockham is the use of Radeon 
as a discrete graphic card, not only in an Intel or an x86 platform, but also on other processing platforms as long as they work with the, the current uh, bus standards. So uh, the, um, the, the uh, ARM and ecosystem is supporting this, so we actually support the Rockham software in the ARM platform. Also, the IBM uh, Power Platform, the Open Power Platform, supports the same adapters. So we actually allow uh, the Rockham software stack with our accelerators in the Power Platform as well. So you can see that, uh, that Rockham really is about openness, working with different vendors, uh, working with different software. Thanks for listening to me and coming to the SC booth. Uh, visit us next year at Supercomputing 17 in Denver, and uh, I, I'm sure you'll see an additional progression of our environment, of the Rockham environment for Radeon uh, Open Computing. Thank you.